Fiat is planning on expanding and modernizing its range in the next five years, focusing on the smaller segments. Among the new launches, there will be a Super Mini and three new crossovers, with their designs already completed as confirmed by CEO Olivier Francois. The Italian company is gearing up towards becoming a fully electric brand by 2027 putting an emphasis on affordability, while describing itself as a cousin to Citroën within Stellantis. The first new launch will be a Punto-sized Super Mini expected to be unveiled in 2023, slotting above the current fully electric 500 Cita car. The model won't be getting the Punto name ending a cycle of three generations produced between 1993 and 2018. The Fiat Super Mini is expected to share its underpinnings with the Peugeot 208, the Opel Corsa and the upcoming Citroën C3. The camp platform will allow ICE-powered and BEV variants, in line with the competition. Speaking about Fiat's urban models, Oliver Francois described the 500 and the Panda as their two icons. The CEO said there is room for something more in the 500 range next to the 500 and the 500X, which is going to be chic and urban. Speaking about the Panda, he hinted at a modern interpretation of the 80s original, not only in terms of exterior design but also in terms of the essential, minimalist approach. This notion inspired the 2019 Cento Venti concept and will be inherited by at least a couple of production cars according to the CEO. The successor of the Fiat Panda will retain the popular nameplate and will be one of the three new crossovers in Fiat's range. Oliver Francois said, the Panda has to be a little rugged, simple, robust. While hinting that the Panda DNA will be infused in other models too. According to Autocar, Fiat's future range will have 10 members, including 5 global cars, 500, Panda, Punto-sized Super Mini, plus 2 more crossovers, 4 commercial vehicles, and 1 South American-only model. In the next five years, we're going to launch one new car per year per region and globally we're able to create cars that are common everywhere in the world, which is something we've struggled with in the past," Francois said, admitting the hurdles of the FCA era. Fiat CEO confirmed the brand's renewed focus on smaller segments, with the automaker not interested in larger than compact cars. He also described, Fiat as Citroën's cousin in the Stellantis group, the stories are different, but we're two people's brands and share a lot. I think what's interesting is that we can divide the market in terms of size. We can be the specialist in smaller cars and then Citroën has more legitimacy to cover the D segment, and, of course, there will be some overlap in the middle. In Europe. Fiat will be heavily betting on EVs, launching fully electric versions of every new model in its range before eventually discontinuing internal combustion engines. Francois wants to make Fiat the people's Tesla, lowering the cost of electrification. Fiat planned to have an EV-only range between 2025 and 2030 with Francois hinting it could happen in 2027 or earlier, wanting to make the Italian automaker the first mass-market brand to be electric.